Assalamu alaikum, how are you everyone? Hope so, fine, alhamdulillah. So, today is the lecture 3 of our POS software course, and welcome to our channel Oracle Apex BD. So, today we are going to create table for all the module we need in a SuperShop software. In the previous video, we created a workspace where we have to work. So, firstly, open the software of the Oracle Apex or go to the workspace and work with me don't skip the video because from this video we are starting the main works for our application so let's get start firstly we have to open our workspace then we have to go sql workshop then sql commands So here in this SQL commands we have to create table with query. Now we are going to create table. First of all we have to create a table for UOM. The UOM means unit of measurement. So let's see the query create table first you have to enter the create table then the table name uom the uom is the table name and you have to enter a parenthesis here starting parenthesis and then you have to call id id is the column name and the number number is the data type and primary key the primary key means when you set the primary key then no data will be duplicate here in the column then input a comma here and the second column name is unit name unit name is the second column name and space type varkar2 varkar2 is another data type when we add alphabets numbers there you have to put data type worker 2 and in the bracket we are seeing 200 200 means the byte how many words are you entering in the column in the unit name column you can enter maximum 200 words and then don't input comma here because if you input comma here this query will not work and the this is the main function and here end the query and now we have to select all of query and click run here okay so you are seeing table created so the uom table created now we have to create another table and now we are creating a table for brand so create table the create table function and the table name brand set a starting parenthesis and then call the column name id the data type number and set this is in primary key you always remember you are putting primary key for not duplicate the id because if you duplicate the id number or by mistakely it will happen so the function will not run because when you search a data you have to search with id if the id is duplicate then the function will not run so set the id data type number set in primary key put in a comma b name b name is brand name and then data type set data type worker 2 and then set the maximum word 200 comma active the active means status status active or inactive and set it to number data type 
and then close the parenthesis select all the query and select all the query and then click run the table created now we have to create another table so this is the another table name category set create table category is the table name start parenthesis column name id the data type is number and set this in primary key cat name cat name means category name this is the column name worker 2 data type pid number pid number means product id set the data type number so create by create by means who created the data set the data type in worker to create on create on the which date you have created company id number and active status data type number and close the parenthesis and select the all query and select the all query and then run table create it now we have to create another table okay we have to create another table is customer info customer info is for your customer information uh, create table customer info the table name start the parenthesis id primary key number cast name that means customer name worker to the data type customer address column name worker to data type address to phone number nationality gender religion credit limit credit limit means how much he can credit the maximum amount create by create on company id and the active status now select all the query and run so the table created now we are creating another table the another table is supplier info supplier info as the same as customer info id supplier name address address phone number phone number and the email active status so all the make sure all the data type is correct select the query and go to run table created now we have to create another table so the another table is item master item master is for your item configuration which item you have the id number primary key item nong item nong is also number item name uom means unit of measurement cat name cat name is category name b name is brand name purchase rate which rate you have purchased the item sell rate how much you are selling the product reorder reorder means if the stock ends then you have to reorder it item image blob blob is the data type for image create by create on company id and the active status so select the all query and then run the table created now we have to create sales order table sales order table is for when you are selling the product to a customer i repeat when you selling a product to the customer then you have to create a invoice or a bill from this table that function will be work order number order id always remember id is the primary key order date which date are you billing the invoice then customer name your customer name customer address pay type pay type means cash card or the mobile banking options the amount vat percentage vat amount c 
sub amount discount percent discount amount the total net amount and the credit by who are creating the bill data type is worker to create on date and the company number and the company now is number and uh, select all of the query and then click run okay the table is created now we have to create another table is sales order detail sales order detail is simple order id order non item non rate and quantity so select all the variant run table created now the table we are creating is po order po order means purchase order when you are purchasing product from supplier for your shop then you have to create it on purchase order or PO order PO non purchase order non purchase order ID PO ID PO date PO supplier which supplier you are buying from amount discount bet net amount create by create on company ID and the CN flag, CN date, CN by, CN region, app flag, app date, app by. Select the all query and run. The table is created. Now we have to create another table is PO detail. So PO detail is ID, PO long, item name, UOM, rate, quantity. PO detail is purchase order detail how many quantity you are purchasing the rate the um the item name which item are you purchasing all the data will store here so click all the query and run the table is created so viewers we have seen how to create table for all of the modules i am giving the source code for your help link in the description box in the next video we will move to the app builder and we will create forms for all of the module keep watching us hope so you understanding the tutorial if you have any problem then comment your problem inshallah we will try to solve or talk with your problem okay so subscribe our channel and follow our facebook page for more update allah hafiz for today assalamu alaikum